Welcome to another Parker Maths tutorial with me, Andy Parker. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how do you describe circles algebraically. We'll first look at how you find the equation of a circle. Once we know that, we'll look at what you can do with that information, what other information you can find about the circle, and we'll also look at how circles interact with other objects, for example, with straight lines or curves or other circles. So to begin with, we'll have a circle with a radius r that has its center at the origin 0, 0. And then we'll consider a point on the circumference of the circle with coordinates x, y. To get from the centre to the point x, y, we need to go a distance x across and y up. Now, think about the radius of this circle being the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle. That means we can use Pythagoras to say that the distance across squared plus the distance up squared is equal to the radius squared. And there we have the equation of a circle with centre 0, 0, radius r. Now that we know that, we can think about what happens if the centre of our circle is not at the origin. Let's now consider a circle where the centre is not at the origin. So we'll take a circle with the centre coordinates a, b. Let's see if we can do the same thing as we did before and derive an equation for this. So if we assume there is a point on the circumference here with coordinates x, y again, then the distance we go across here, we're going from an x coordinate of a to an x coordinate of x. And that distance here would be x minus a. If that doesn't quite make sense yet, imagine that this x coordinate here was 5 and this one was 3. Well, to go from 3 across to 5, then we would need to go a distance 2, which is 5 minus 3. To get from a y coordinate of b up to a y coordinate of y, we need to go y minus b. Again, using Pythagoras, we can say that the distance across x minus a squared plus the distance up, which is y minus b, and we square that as well equals the radius squared. And this is the equation for a circle with center AB radius R. An alternative way to arrive at the same equation here is to start with your equation x squared plus y squared equals R squared for our circle of center about the origin. And we could translate this A units in the positive x direction and B units in the positive y direction. So to translate by a units in the positive x direction, we would be replacing x by x minus a. And to translate b units in the y direction, we would replace y by y minus b, arriving at the same equation here. So that's where the equation for a circle comes from. Let's now have a look at some ways of using that equation.